All right, let's now move on to the other big story that we are tracking here, where the Indian Space and Research Organization has created history today. The Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, or the PSLV as it is known, blasted off at 9.29 a.m. from Sri Harikota in South India. The rocket was carrying India's 100 satellite along with 30 others. Out of the 31 satellites, three are Indian. The other, three, other 28 are from Canada, Finland, France, South Korea, the United Kingdom and also the United States. Now, the Indian satellites include the 710 kilogram Kartosat 2 series for Earth observation. The Kartosat 2 series will orbit around the Earth for five years and also the Kartosat 2 series satellite objective is to provide high resolution scene specific spot imagery which will be used for land information system and also the geographical information system that is based on what that will be used in other applications. Now, the two satellites weigh roughly about 100 kilogram which is a micro satellite and also a five kilogram nano satellite which has also been sent into space. Now, the total weight of all satellites put together in the rocket is about 1,323 kilograms. The Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi has tweeted on the historic event. He said, and I quote, my heartiest congratulations to ISRO and its scientists on the successful launch of the PSLV today. This success in the new year will bring benefits of the country's rapid strides in space technology to our citizens, farmers and also fishermen. Now, the first satellite launch in 2018 on the back of the PSLV C-40 comes just four months after a similar rocket had failed to deliver the country's eighth navigation satellite in the Earth's lower orbit on the 31st of August in 2017. Now, the PSLV's capability of putting multiple satellites into orbit and satellites into multiple orbit. So both of them are being done in a single mission practically. So progressively PSLV has better and better capabilities. That's why you also saw, though there was a failure last time, 28 customer satellites, they had the confidence that PSLV will function satisfactorily. I would say that um, uh, it's of course an excellent day for ISRO, but this is something that uh, they have become used to and uh, they have been working towards it. It's not come easy. They have been working towards it. And it's only uh, a reiteration of how far India is going in, in this entire uh, business of launching satellites. Certainly this is a historic day for us and a great, great headway actually for India. And I would say that it is also to a great extent the personal indulgence, personal intervention, the, the kind of inspiration and patronage which was available from Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi over the last three, four years, that one after the other, Team ISRO, the space scientists of India, have registered one success after the other. All right, so even as India is flying high in space, Pakistan has raised concerns and objections over India's 100 satellite launch. Now, Pakistan has claimed that this is a satellite that's actually been launched for spying purposes. Now, Pakistan's Foreign Office spokesperson, Mohammad Faisal, has suggested that the satellite has been fitted with spying devices. Now, in a statement, Mohammad Faisal has said, and I quote, India should refrain from military use of space technology and such measures that could disrupt the balance of power in the region.